with that increasing obviousness and um, you could say accessibility of intelligence, we also grow quickly, increasingly confident with our own capacity to use this intelligence in a very direct and skillful way. We learn to master our own data, our thoughts, emotions, sensations in an effortless way. So that kind of mastery isn't something that is a hard workout where we constantly need to be vigilant of what's going on in our mind, but where we have the confidence like a, the lion's roar where we know with confidence and ease that whatever is going on, all is well, all is well. We can let all that be as it is because intelligence shines brightly and we have access to skillful means in all situations to be of great benefit to all, which includes ourselves, but always spontaneously has the context of all in all. So with decisions we make, uh, clarity, insight, discernment, to spontaneously see which turn to take, uh, how to contribute to a certain situation that we might be in, so that the outcome is of, of benefit to all involved. We, we recognize that we're not a victim of our own thoughts and emotions, which is very empowering. We may not have thought about it this way, but often we're actually really afraid of what's going on in our own mind. And we try to have only positive experiences, which if we're honest and even look around us, it's impossible. But still there was this like underlying hope and the, and the sense of needing to have only positive thoughts and emotions and experiences in order to have a happy and empowered life. And in these short moments, we recognize that whatever goes on, it can just be as it is. And there is still the same openness, the same intelligence, the same clarity to make wise decisions that are of benefit to all. So we, you could say we become less and less afraid of our own thoughts, emotions, and, and sensations and experiences. And, and that happens really quickly. And with that, I mean, it, it can happen very, like within a few days that you, definitely recognize an increased confidence. And, but certainly over weeks and months, you'll really recognize this, that there is a sense of stability, of mental and emotional stability that is not circumstance dependent, that does not depend on the kinds of thoughts and feelings that we have. With that also, we see that our relationships change. This isn't just some happy state with, that we then hang out in, but actually it, it naturally transpires into interactions. If I'm not afraid of what's going on in here, I'm less and less afraid of what's going on there. And so a very simple example is in intimate relationships. Uh, I noticed that definitely in my relationship with my wife that the more stability of mind I had, the easier it was to relate just open-heartedly because I didn't have any expectations anymore on how she needs to be in order for me to be at ease and to be happy and to have a good day together. So that, that opens up so much space to really relate openly and, and warmly without any expectations. And to just be there and, and recognize that I can bring great service and, and contribution to this relationship. Um, and then also in professional relationships, like being in a meeting and, you know, when everybody has maybe different ideas about how something should be done instead of just focusing on what I'm thinking about and how I can come to my punchline, uh, it, to really listen openly to have that capacity that even if I feel strongly about something, there is this opening intelligence that is just present all the time and just open to really make use of all the input, whether it's whether I would declare that my insight or your insight, it really doesn't matter. What really is most important is that we provide something that is of benefit to all in our meeting. And in that way, our meetings are they're super efficient. Um, they are very um, solution-oriented. Uh, if, if somebody has a challenging time, they know what to rely on, <laughs> open intelligence. Even in like times where I work, I don't know, 15 hours a day, 
where that is just an underlying sense of, of spacious relaxation, although there is complete focus and non-distraction, but at the same time, complete openness. So it isn't the distraction that needs to push everything else away. It's laser-like focus and at the same time open like the clear blue sky. Uh, so these two together are amazing, empowerment and relaxation. They're a, a, a dream team.